WWE 2K23, my faction. So today, they released a new Backlash packs. I was expecting new content, but I'm disappointed with this content because we're getting a lot of recycled wrestlers and not only that they're recycled, they're getting the same tier. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So, like I just don't, like I'm glad we got backlash packs. I pretty much was expecting, I was hoping they would give us backlash packs. But first of all, like the card art, it's, it's it's not even mid. It's just like I'm not even gonna go there. I'm gonna, like where does it say like backlash? That little thing on the bottom. You couldn't do a, a nice background for backlash. Like you're just gonna use a backlash font down in the bottom of the card, and these cards have like red and blue backgrounds with a picture of the wrestler. Like then you got okay, you got this Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? He's gonna be good. 84 finisher, 84 special, blah, blah, blah. Still like a B on Legendary Tier 4, the highest tier, okay? He's going to be a good card. But did we not just get a Stone Cold Steve Austin? Where's he at? Ruby. This is a Ruby Stone Cold Steve Austin, and we have a Ruby Stone Cold Steve Austin in the new backlash. He doesn't have Stain Like a B on Legendary. He has it on Amethyst or Hall of Fame tier three so one tier lower correct but it's stone cold and it's a ruby we already got this two promos before let's take a look at the next card okay we got a batista i think we got an emerald batista in the weekly towers that car was pretty good so he's gonna be good this thing like a be heavy handed those two badges together you can stun your opponent really quickly blah 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 very good right okay uh, 81 finisher, 77 special, nothing too spectacular there. He's an 84, he has no, not one stat. He has strength on 81. Everything else is 70s, high 70s, mid 70s. Uh, Cody Rhodes, okay. So we just got a Sapphire Cody Rhodes. Now we got this one. He has always, he, he doesn't have Sting like a B, right? There was an Amethyst Cody Rhodes check right here this Cody Rhodes staying like a B on tier 3 Hall of Fame Amethyst whatever you want to call it this card this Cody Rhodes is going to be better than the movie Cody Rhodes guaranteed guaranteed because if, you're not going to want to use a card that does not have staying like a B because staying like a B is the best badge in this game whether it's on tier three or tier four. Because what you do is, you hit your opponent, you stun them, you perform your special or your signature, then you stun them again and you perform your finisher. You'll get those meters very quickly, which will help you finish the matches very quickly. Hit them with a couple of signatures, a couple of finishers, go for the submission, you win the match. That's what you wanna do, right? That's the point of this game right now. Because when this comes back, and we get more ladders or more matches that we could continue winning prizes and cards. Right now, you still have the briefcase awards, which is gonna be a couple of these wrestlers and faction points, right? So you can open packs, so you don't have to spend money on the game. But this has not been updated for how long? How long? You could upload this 20, 25 matches every week, 50 matches every time you release a promo to keep people engaged in the game, to want to open packs. I've done everything. I've done everything like, I'll show you right now. I've done everything. We'll go to rewards, proving grounds, done, everything. Every card, right? Live events, pretty much got every card there is to get, right? Weekly Towers, these two cards. Okay, that's the W. Faction Wars. Pretty much got every card, and I got. I think I'm missing just one of the new cards that are not even in here to go towards the collector level. They're not even in here yet. They'll update it later, like they did before. But the card, the new cards that are in Faction Wars are not even in here. They don't go towards the collector level because they're not even counted right now. 
my collection. Spend a lot of money in this game. I do it for the content, right? I spend money in the game for the content because people want to see pack openings. You tune in to see pack openings. Everybody's making videos ranting about the game. Granted, they have a valid point. I'm upset too. I'm spending my money that I work a job, grind in real life, hard earned money. I'm not rich to open these packs. And anybody saying anything against anybody spending VC to open packs, don't say anything because we're the ones taking the hit. And if nobody spends VC on this mode, 2K is never going to do this mode. This mode, they just won't put it in the game no more if it's not going to benefit them or profit them. And then the locker codes, W, right? Got this Stone Cold Steve Austin. You had to go buy a figure to get this John Cena. That was nice. Is it something different, something new? Like, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? He has a, a different player model. And it's something that was different. So, yeah, you know, you had to go out hunting for a figure, get the figure, put in the code, go to a website, blah, blah, blah. There's videos on how to do it, how to get them. But this this Cena, like, I, I like this concept. This was a good idea. I take it. Yeah. Okay, so back to the packs, right? Dakota Kai. Okay. Stay like a bee on Hall of Fame tier three. I'm not even looking at the rest of the badges because they don't even matter at this point. Stay like a bee, heavy handed, and space invader are the ones that. But I'm telling you right now, JR Ranks made a video about space invader and he literally proved it. Since they did the patch that you can't win matches quickly with uh, submission, Space Invader does not matter anymore. I don't care what anyone says because last year, that Oscar, Ruby, Ruby Oscar from the Ruby Token Market had Space Invader, and that Space Invader right there will help you win these matches in 30 seconds. Now, Space Invader does not help you win matches. You could do 10 submissions and you would not get your opponent to submit. The only way you get your opponent to submit faction wars or anything else, you're gonna have to them with like three signatures, three finishers, get them all in the red, then go for the submission. They're gonna reverse it, go for the submission. They're gonna come in and you're gonna get outside interference. They're gonna break it up. Go for the submission still like three or four times, but then you'll be able to submit your opponent. So now faction wars, a match would have took 30 seconds to a minute with a card that had a good space invader is gonna take now five, six seven eight nine ten minutes for one match and we still have not gotten a faction wars update so what are you going to do release another hundred matches another ladder of 100 matches it's going to take people forever to sit there and win those 100 matches people are probably not even going to get to 200 i'm telling you right now we got to 100 quickly because there was a glitch and blah 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 and people's channels was threatening to get you know copyrighted and, and 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 you know copy strike and all that because they were giving us a glitch like if like i'm not even going to get into that because i don't want to start a whole rant i'm just proving a point in this video okay cora jade ruby card that's a new i know we had a, a uh, i believe we had a sapphire her or emma she's pretty good right let's take a quick look nothing crazy you don't even have thing like a being nothing like that space available Alexa Bliss, Sapphire, right? This is in the packs, there's no packs we just got today, right? No sting like a bee, nothing like that. Swiftness, dive bottom, versus opportunities. I'm gonna go over here. I gotta go, because she's not even in the rewards. I'm gonna show you. This Alexa Bliss. Who's that? Sapphire, Alexa Bliss. Who was just in those packs? Sapphire. Alexa Bliss. This Alexa Bliss right now, I played with her in Faction Wars. She's really good. She's really good because she has a finisher. She has Shelton Benjamin's finisher. It's basically a reverse face buster. Very quick finisher. And Shelton Benjamin and her, as long as I do that finisher, had not yet to get reversed by the CPU. Not yet to get reversed. So it's a, it's a W finisher. It's probably the best finisher in the game right now because it's so fast. You just hit it, boom. You just, you just hit it with no finishers. It takes like one second, right? This card is very good. I'm telling you right now, you grind in faction rewards for big pace rewards, go get this card right now. Now the one in the packs seems like similar um, badges, 
I don't know if that one's just as good. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, okay, she has an 84 finish, a 79 special. Go back. Eighty finisher and seventy five special, so literally one point more on the stats, right? And pretty much the same badges. So what are we doing here? Sapphire, Alexa Bliss, in two places. He's new. British Bulldog, right? That's um, Austin Theory. I believe this is a, a new card. You know, he doesn't have another Sapphire, right? British Bulldog. But what is this? What is this Sapphire, right? Go down. Seventy five. Uh, Heavy hand this thing like a B2 great badges right on tier three though almost the top tier not the one right before the top tier that's sapphire British Bulldog Who's this? <gasps> sapphire British Bulldog This was the promo right before this promo. Why are we getting the same wrestler in the same tier? Why we didn't make this British Bulldog a ruby? He has heavy handed he hasn't done whatever like why we didn't make he doesn't even have like the new one has better badges so the new one should have been a ruby like what are we doing here okay back to this eddie guerrero new fine r2 okay we get a new eddie guerrero we get a new drew, drew back entire now r2 right sapphire r2 you with me sapphire r2 right going in hot showman he doesn't have stain like a b right Where, where is the other Sapphire? Is he a token market? Sapphire, our truth in the token market. Sting like a bee on Hall of Fame. So this card is better than the one in the new packs. Why would you give us another our truth with less better badges? He has Sting like a bee. Swiftness, right? This our truth. Does not have thing like So why wouldn't the world would I even use this card? Why would I even need this card in the pack when you could have put so many different wrestlers? Okay, Razor Ramon. I want this Razor Ramon. Definitely want him because I love Razor Ramon. Say hello to the back guy, Chico. You know, sting like a bee, heavy-handed on tier three, amethyst, Hall of Fame, whatever you want to call it. Great card. Okay, Yokozuna. No. Oh no, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alexa Bliss is here, right? I think I messed up with the Dev Morgan. And then if you go to rewards, live events, Alexa Bliss, Sapphire, saying, oh, we see it coming, blah, blah, blah. So that, I, I went to Liv Morgan. That was my fault. I'm just doing this video. I'm not going to edit it. But. You're gonna see right now, right? So Liv Morgan, Sapphire, right? That's what I was showing you before, Liv Morgan. Sapphire, right? So, Like, what are we doing here? Same cards. Like, it, you're giving me the cards so much that I'm even confused between Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss because it's, it's just like, I'm like, what, what, what are we doing? Like, not to rant. Like, I hate to rant, to be the one to rant. So, you got Big Boss, man. You got a couple of MOs, blah, blah, blah. Okichi, that's great. This Brutus Creed. Didn't we get him? Let me see his badges. Wasn't he in something? Let me see. Live events. Julius Creed. Okay, it's a different name, whatever. This thing like a BM. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, what are we doing to get like? What are we doing? We got RVD. We got a new RVD. I know. Thank you. PCR ammo. So, I mean, it's not a bad pack, but it's like, 
we already got this. Like, we're using the same wrestlers. Most of them on the same tiers. Like, what are we doing? Like, I could bitch because I'm spending money on this game. Money. I'm not rich. I'm spending money to bring content. And I want to spend money. If I were even if I wasn't bringing content, I would want to spend money. I like the concept. The my team concept, you call it my faction. You, you're taking the blueprint from NBA 2K. Like, I like that. But come on, bro. You got to come correct. Like, you guys are doing microtransactions. Don't you want to make money? Do you not know that this is not letting you make money? You know how people, how many people are not going to open these packs? Because it's literally the same wrestlers and the same cards? Like, who are we opening these packs for? Who, who am I going to open the pack for? Cody Rhodes? Let's open a pack for Cody Rhodes, right? Cody Rhodes. Ruby Cody Rhodes does not have Sting like a beat. This Cody Rhodes, Staffire, Tia Loa, has Sting like a beat. This card is better than the Ruby. Why not give Ruby Sting like a beat and have be handed? Why are you taking the best badge away from him and upgrading him to a Ruby and taking the best badge away? Because you up his stats two or three points here and there like come on like who like what are you guys doing in these meetings like like what are you doing like i don't understand you need to hire people that play this game that put money into this game this game has so much potential you guys can make so much money but everybody's too 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 jaded too scorned you think everybody's trying to rob you because 2k was doing, you know, everybody playing NBA 2K was buying MT because your pack odds were horrendous. And then in WWE 2K, everybody was doing the submission glitch and they were getting so much my faction points, they didn't have to spend money on the game. So they were just using my faction points to open packs, which you can't blame them because not everybody's rich. But at the end of the day, or even has the money to because people have families. And, and you know, like, who are you catering to? The rich people don't play this game. It's real people that play, the hardworking people play this game. Kids that go to school play this game. Not rich people, not millionaires. They don't play this. They're too busy making millions. Like, come on, like we gotta stop. Now, not everything is bad. I'm not gonna sit here and just demolish you, right? You did great things, like like the live events. The live events were great. Like, I I, I messed with it, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this Shelton Benjamin card, the best card in the game, hands down. I got Amethyst Cody Rhodes. He is better than Amethyst Cody Rhodes. And I love Cody Rhodes. But this card is better in the game than Amethyst Cody Rhodes. And how many packs did I have to open to get to the collector level to get Amethyst Cody Rhodes? You don't even want to know. Right? This Shawn Michaels. Great card. Great card. Definitely a great card. The fact that you had to get him to get him was good because you got him. And you got him, you got two of the best cards in the game. Right? But the only problem was you only had three days to complete Shawn Michaels. And if you missed out on him, you couldn't go for Shelton Benjamin. And then when you, if you did get Shawn Michaels, you only had three days to go to Shelton Benjamin, which was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the weekend. I worked 12 hours Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 12 hours each day. I had to come home super tired to play this game. Why you couldn't extend it five days or give us 13 days like, like you did Shane McMahon, right? This is Brie Bella. What happened over here, right? People were winning matches. They weren't getting credit for it. When you finally did fix it, you didn't give people more time to get this card. This card's countdown never changed. It still went down, and I thought I wasn't even gonna get it because the last day I had to play like all these matches, and I did pull her. But what if I couldn't play that day? I would have missed out. And there was like a whole bunch of days that nobody could get this card because you weren't giving them the rewards when they were winning the matches. You weren't crediting us. And then when you did fix it, you didn't extend the time for them to get this card. Like, well, like you couldn't give a couple of more days because you guys messed up. No, screw the player, right? The people that spend money on this game, screw them. They ain't worth nothing. We ain't worth nothing. Like, I don't understand. Like, and then you go over here, you're giving us managers that we that you can pull from packs already. Like, why why are we this triple H is pullable from packs? I pulled him from a pack, I grinded for him, then I pulled him from pack. I'm like, hold on. He's in packs too? This leader, manager is in packs too. And this edge is probably in packs too. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like like, come on, 2K, you got to do better. But you know what? Live, w for the live events, this has been, I, I, I like this. I like this. That you could win, like, the Shawn Michaels, the Shane McMahon, this Brie Bella, this Shelton Benjamin. 
Like this, this is good. Even this Alexa Bliss, fine. Like we'll take that, right? Proving grounds. Like where's the updates? Like we get good cards from here, definitely no doubt. Good cosmetics and stuff like that. But but where's the update? Like we're gonna get one proving ground every what? Three months? Like like uh, like faction wars. Faction wars. Okay, we get some cards here. Like. These cards are what? Nothing. So, where's the Faction Wars update? Forget about this. <laughs> Forget about this. Like, you you have to, like, spend at least... I'm not even going to say how much you got to spend to get one of these one of these cards. I spent a lot. I spent about $1.50, 100 to 150 on each promo. And... Yeah, I got everything so far. I'm not too concerned with the rest of these because I know I'm going to get a bunch of free packs and eventually we'll pull them, right? Like the lower tier cards, but I got all the top rubies thus far. Two were released today and I haven't opened those packs yet, right? Okay. Locker codes, W. They're stone cold. Great locker code. Beautiful. Give us more locker codes. Like simple. I'm not, listen, common sense. Like you guys are doing certain things really good. Really, bunch of potential. And then give us updated wrestlers. Give us, like, where's Triple H? Where's The Undertaker? Where's Hulk Hogan? Where's, like, like, I know you got promos coming out soon. Like, these promos right here, like these Neon Horizons you see right there, where Amethyst Becky Lynch, and these Danger Zone with Diamond Roman Reigns. Beautiful card out. Beautiful card out. High tier cards. I know that's coming. I know. But while we're here in the lower tiers, Make it interesting. At least give us different wrestlers. Or if you're going to give us the same wrestler, at least give us different tiers. Not two Ruby Stone Colds, two Sapphire Alexa Blisses, like two Sapphire Liv Morgans. Like, like what are we doing? And and the token market, right? Like, everybody's, they can't wait for the token market. We cannot wait for this to open. Everybody's, like, this is going to be Christmas when it comes. Christmas. But right now, we live in the nightmare before Christmas. Because when this Amethyst token market opens up, you know those cards are going to be OP. You know those cards are going to be great, right? Now, that being said, diamond cards and pink diamond cards. When these cards, when these, this market opens up, or we get promos that have diamond cards, that have pink diamond cards, the game's going to be pretty much over. Tell you the truth, the game's going to be pretty much over. Because they're working on 2K24. Yeah, 2K24, that's why they're not paying no mind to this. They're not going to hardly release no updates. Like, there's going to be no use for these cards. So why not give us diamonds and pink diamonds now? Like, like, like you have a promo? Like, like right here? You have a, you have a promo? Let, let's, let's go into the promo. Right? And give us a diamond. Give us a pink diamond. Give us one, like a dark matter. You know what I mean? Like, like the way NBA 2K does. Give us, give us a really great card so people go and want to open packs. W with you guys on the token market, right? Because on the token market, all these rubies, phenomenal, phenomenal. These these cards are great. Like you don't have to open that. You could you could take these cards like Jinder Mahal, Logan Paul, R Truth, like Chad Gable, Shayna Baszler. <laughs> like like you could take these cards and you could definitely like grind proving rounds faction wars and whatever and you don't you don't these cards are these cards are better than the cards that are in packs so you're not even giving us an incentive to open packs continue to give us this please because if it wasn't for this forget about it i don't think anyone would be playing this mode because a lot of people don't have money to open packs but to give people a fair playing ground that like they could use these cards and go against cards that people put them from packs or even the collection rewards that i'm pulling people they, they win in matches against me online with these Ruby cards, and I'm over there playing with Amethyst Cody Rhodes, you understand? So you definitely level the playing ground by giving us these good cards. So this is a W. Token market has been a W. Token market is great, and live events is great. But you have to do this. You have to, you have to, do, you have to give us 25 matches. Give us something weekly on this. The weekly towers you give us every Monday. Okay, so we know we expect this, so we get something. Right here we have six tokens to get a pack. Right, this pack is good because it's very expensive. <coughs> Proving rounds, I mean, I don't even know, like, like, what are we going to do, like, this is, how many more proving rounds are we going to get during the, the lifespan of this game? 
How many? So, like, come on, 2K. Like, we got to step up our game. Like, if you guys want to make money off of these microtransactions, you got to come You got to come correct. You got to come better than this. You guys are way better than this. You're a billion-dollar company. There's no excuses. You could bring in content creators. You could bring people that play the game. They can give you advice and tips. If you guys are just programming the game and don't understand what's really going on, you're just being told to do something, then you need to talk to people that's telling you to do that. Bring in some people that are actually playing the game and let's get their recommendations so we can make this game better. And if you need an artist to design some really good card art for you, I'm an artist. I'll do it for free. I'll do it for free because of the love and the passion I have for art. I already do wrestlers, art for wrestlers. You could go to my Instagram. I'll leave a link on the description below. I've done art for Cody Rhodes, Bianca Belair, The Undertaker, Mike Tyson, Ric Flair, Paige, a.k.a. Saraya. You name it, I've done it. I'm doing a whole bunch of more other wrestlers and people. I'm doing Rhea Ripley next. I'm doing The Punisher. I'm doing Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars. So yeah, go to my Instagram, see my art. Somebody tell 2K to hire me. I do it for free, no charge. I do it right from my house. And then just email it to you or whatever. You can use the card art. Like these digital cards, I could design this in like 30 minutes. Those other pieces I take, take me weeks. Cause I'm doing everything by hand. There's no computer generated, nothing. So come on, 2K, step, step your game up, man. Because I don't mind spending money on the game. I don't mind spending money on the game. But you have to come correct. Like, you can't give us this. This is garbage. Like, this this is garbage. This is garbage. This is garbage. Like, all these cards, like, recycle cards on the same tier. We got two Sapphire Liv Morgans, two Sapphire R2s, two Sapphire Alexibus. We got two Ruby Stone Coast Divorces. We got two Sapphire British Bulldogs. Like, come on why so yeah that being said come on somebody like i don't understand like i don't understand what we got to do like i like the mode it has a ton of potential but i don't even think they tap it into one percent of the potential they could tap into maybe one or two percent because of live events in the token market so i'll give them a ten percent tapping into potential but they could be so much more and the online gameplay like i know a lot of people are saying the online gameplay is bad and blah 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 this problems and you have to wait a long time for a match because nobody's playing the game because there's not enough content but i have played a few matches and i have fun i have fun like when i do my upload of my amethyst cody rose gameplay i played this dude has Shawn michaels that was a great i had so much fun playing that match and you'll see like that match was fun like the person i was playing made it good like we had a ball like, I had a better card than him, but he was he was taking me to school. You know what I mean? He could have been a better player than me, knew how to play the game a little better, but I, I'm no slouch. You know what I mean? I gave him a run for his money. But this could be so much better, too. Like, online gameplay could be so much better. And give us rewards. And the other thing, these seasons. What are we having seasons for? You're updating... The, what we got in this season update? Um, Some cards in My Faction Wars. We didn't get an update in My Faction Wars, but we got briefcase updates. And you got four new cards, right? What are we doing seasons for? Even in quick play, if they say this is a one-on-one -on -one and then they change it to a tag team, you figure that will happen next season. They doing it not even when the season's gonna start. They they changing it randomly. Oh, it's an elimination chamber match. It's a tag team match. It's a this match. It's like what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Why why do we even have a season for? What is the season for? When, we, when this countdown, 25 days, 23 hours, 18 minutes, 52 seconds goes down, we should get, like, new proving rounds, new faction wars, new promo pack. We don't even get new promo packs on the season ends. Like, I don't understand. Like, there's no meaning to this season for you to even make a season. Where's the season reward? We need a season reward. Give us rewards for beating people, for playing online and getting wins online. Like, like what are we doing? Like, come on, 2K. This is common sense. You guys have the blueprint. You have the recipe, man. You have the ingredients. So with that being said, I'm gonna open a pack of faction promos because, like, I would I would open a 20 box right now, but I just don't. I'm just disappointed right now. So I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna open one. I have I have 176 VC that I could waste right now. I could just throw an extra 20 dollars and get enough to get a box but i'm not even gonna do that i'm just gonna open one deluxe pack with my my faction points that i grinded for and that's the other thing you're grinding for my faction points you're getting 200 300 off the briefcase last year we we're getting like a thousand like how long is it gonna take somebody to grind for enough money to get a box 
or even open some packs, but forget about a box. You better have to grind like 10 hours a day for like two weeks just to open a 20 box. And then I see other content creators when they open these boxes with action points, they're not pulling as much rubies as I do when I spend money on the game and I'm opening them with VC. So the odds are decreased for my faction point pack openers. I see that. I seen enough content creators that open with my faction points, and then I seen enough content creators that open with VC. And the ones with that open with VC always get the better cards, always get the rubies, always get the pulls they need. And the, I seen a guy open a 20 box with my faction points and didn't get one ruby, not one, in a 20 box. You know how long that that person had to probably grind? To get enough my faction points to open a 20 box. That being said, let's just open this pack. The boom. We get a ruby with a my faction. It's crazy. I'll take it, but still. Okay, I'll take Cody Rose. But still, the Sapphire is going to be better because he has to make a beat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cody Rhodes. Yeah, he doesn't have to stay like a beat. Like his, his Sapphire is better. I'll tell you right now, his Sapphire is going to be better. He may have a little bit higher stats, but it's not high enough to make it a better card. Badges are everything in the card. Crazy. But we'll take it, though. And we get a big boss move. So we get two cards from the set for one pack. All right, that being said, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, smash a like if you like the video, and hit that bell for notifications. I still owe you guys a Cody Amethyst Cody Rose gameplay where I'm going to announce my 400k VC giveaway. I know I owe you that video, but I wanted to make this video first because we need to do better, 2K. As a community, as a company, like we all need to band together and we can make this a lot more fun and we can make this so much better. There's so much potential here. We're just throwing it away right now. Just throwing it away right now. So, thanks for tuning in. Remember, Jesus loves you. God bless. 2K Pun, I'm out.